Carolyn Doobie here. I had an impulse today to add some color to something and I decided I'm going to play along with that impulse and see where it takes me. Come take a look. Well, here's what started this. I'd put down a fresh paper onto my counter and something else that I was working on bled through to the other side. And that's really what that paper on my counter is supposed to do is protect the counter. But all those fun little dots, well, they just kind of grabbed my attention and I had this impulse, so I decided to just go with it. And I'm just gonna start using these Dilutions paints and painting around my little dots. And if you've seen many of my videos, you know how much I love to use the entire rainbow in whatever I'm doing. So when I opened up those four jars of paint, I was just positive that I was gonna use all four colors. I was so positive, I even grabbed a brush and put it right into that purple, but you know what? I actually never did use the purple on this. I kept changing my mind. And that's the cool part about doing something that's very impulsive. If I get a different impulse, I'm just going to follow it because what am I doing here? I am just basically painting on scrap paper. Well, once I got the circles all colored around, I wanted to do something for the background, but I didn't have the exact color that I wanted. So as I tested out that tealish turquoisey color there, it just wasn't what I wanted. It was too dark. Magically, if you add white paint to something, it lightens it up. And that's what I really needed to do is just mix my own color. You might have noticed that in my impulsiveness, I got a little bit of color into that white paint. Well, that's not really a problem. It's pretty easy to fix. What I'm going to do is just grab one of my catalyst blades and I'm going to scrape out the colorful paint that was supposed to be white and grab a little bit more right onto an old messy paint palette and I'm going to mix up the color that I want there and then I'll be able to make the background just the color that I want it to be. But then I have another crisis. This is a big problem. I didn't let the paint completely dry and as I'm painting around it, what if something smears? What if it's not perfect? Okay not really a crisis. I am just having some fun playing impulsively with some paint and some basic shapes. So I'm not really that worried if everything's perfect or if a little something smears here and there, because right now for me, it is all about the fun of just exploring that impulse that I had to color around those dots. Well, thanks for joining me for a little impulsive art play today. If you've enjoyed this video, I would love it if you gave it a thumbs up. And if you want to see more of my videos, go ahead and subscribe to my YouTube channel. That way you'll never miss one of my new videos. And of course, you can find more of what I'm up to over on my blog at acolorfuljourney.com. Thanks for being a part of this colorful journey.